In this section, we're going to learn about adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials and how you can evaluate them. First, we need to know what a term is. A term is a product of numbers and or variables. Some examples of terms would be 5x or negative 3 or even a squared b. A monomial is one term. And an example of one term would be something like x squared or negative 3a to the third c. Just so you have an idea of what a monomial would look like. A binomial has two terms. And some examples, or just one example, of a binomial would be something like a squared minus b squared. Notice that now we have addition or subtraction in between, in between the two terms, just like we did up here. But it didn't really matter up here because we're just looking at one separate term or an individual term. With trinomials, we have three terms. Something with three terms would be something like ax squared plus bx plus c. That would be an example of a trinomial. A polynomial means many terms. Something with many terms would be something like ax squared plus by squared plus cxy plus dx plus ey plus f. That could be an example of a many term or a polynomial. When we evaluate a polynomial or any set of terms, we replace the variable with a value. And I always like to put parentheses in place of that variable that we're evaluating with a number. Let's work some examples. In example one, we have 5x squared minus 2x plus 6. This happens to be a trinomial. We are asked to replace x with a negative 2 because x equals negative 2. So we need to evaluate this expression when x equals negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and put a parenthesis wherever there was an x and then fill in all the other pieces. 
Now I'm going to take that value for x and substitute it in where my parentheses were. Now I can just simplify this using order of operations. Anything raised to the second power that's negative will become a positive. Multiplying, we get 20 minus negative 4 plus 6 combining terms or values my final answer is 30 on the right we have x is equal to 4. Once again, I'm going to put parentheses wherever there was an x in the original expression. And fill in all the other pieces. Now I take 4 and put it in for x.